What's up, folks? Oh, Nergo Matt's here. How's it going, everybody? Oh, gosh. TTS is uh, lagging a little bit. Forgot to put my score sheet on the screen. Look at me go. Nailing it. Uh, a little fun today. We talked about a, a pretty silly list on stream the other day. And I'm going to try it out and see how it goes. We're running basically all Tyrant Guard. Uh, just waiting for my opponent to jump in. Um, and it's unfortunately against Leagues of Otan, so I think it hard counters me, but we'll see. <laughs> we're, we're jumping in the, the, the deep end of the Crucible here. Uh, running the gauntlet. Oop, I think they're here. Hey, what's up? How you doing, boss? Not too bad. Oh, it's, I'll tell you what, it's just stopped snowing here, and uh, I've got to jump on this plane in like three hours, and uh, if it starts snowing again, I'm not having it. Ooh. It's unacceptable. Ooh. I know. Is Good there a, is there a chance that the flight gets cancelled or is it not that bad? Nah, nah, it's not that bad. Right. It's uh, it's Toronto. I'd hope they'd I'd hope they'd learn how to fly in snow by now, but you never know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'd think you know, hundred years of air travel that you'd think they'd get their act together, but who knows? Wow, well, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> um, cool. So you're on Greater Theory and League stuff. Yeah, GTL list. I ran this. Uh, I ran this at the weekend. Uh, went into T Suns game one. Uh, got a nice little win out of it. Uh, hey. I, uh, well, let's not eat it just yet because I was setting up my. It was on. It was actually on stream. Uh, mm -hmm. The game was streamed. I said to my opponent, "Yeah, like T Suns going into Votan. Like you've got like a seventy percent win rate." And he went, "Oh, cool, Votan. What's that?" And I, oh. thought, <laughs> I thought, "Oh no, <laughs> oh no, oh boy." Um, yeah, well, so you're, you're then, about to learn. <laughs> yeah, oh, and he learned. But uh, unfortunately, what that then meant was I just played people who were really good for the remainder of the day and oh, got yeah. hammered. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was uh, uh, that was my experience this weekend too. Ex in, except the opposite way. I went against Votan, a very similar list. I think it, it didn't have the Hearthguard. It had uh, uh, Berserkers instead. But um, I diced the absolute shit out of him. It was like some of the wor the, the worst dicing I've ever inflicted on another person. The game started with an Exocrine one-shotting a land fortress. Oh my, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, no. uh, At that and point, you I, just wrap them up. <laughs> yeah, and then it was, so I got the big 100-point win and was against the top of the, <laughs> of the yeah. event for the rest. So I was like, you know, like meta Astro Militar in round two yeah. or whatever, oh, just get vaporized. <laughs> vulgar. I, uh, yeah, so, yeah, some experience. I got Dark Angels, like the 30 Termies list the next mm -hmm. game. Uh, Dark Through Angels the... was my round three, that's... <laughs> Yeah, that's where through the at. entirety of a heck into it, like a heck with you know two tokens on it, auto wounding on this, blah blah blah. Through the entirety of it, didn't take a single wound off a oh. model and thought, yeah, that's me, boys. Oh, Home time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that is how it do be sometimes. Well, if it makes you feel better, you probably hard counter me, so that's <laughs> that's well, good. We'll see, we'll see how we go. I'll, like Tids are uh, Nids are always a good game, man. Um, yeah. yeah. I reckon uh, this is the last gasp of the uh, hearth guard as well. At 45 points a model, either they start doing something or they go directly in the bin. Yeah, they're so expensive for sure. Um, but I uh, I sprung for uh, naturalized camouflage, which is great until Hecaton Land Fortresses ignore cover, and then it's real bad. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how point, it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Also, a bunch of two damage guns into my four wound army. Let's, that seems bad. Uh, uh, all right. I am going to do. Should we just roll a mission real quick here? Yeah, man. Throw something up. Boom. 33. That's oh, no. Secure. Oh, Jesus. Not 33. It is, it is secure. Nice. Yeah. Do you want to not play that one? I don't mind. It's, it's, always, uh, it's always a bit jank till you start to need to move uh, objective markers around. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. not wrong. Uh, this one. Boop. Oh, that's a massive tree. There we go. Big old tree. All right. Lovely uh, stuff. Secure missing artifacts. Cool. This was uh, this was my final game at the tournament. I was secure missing artifacts, and it, it was just four game day. Comes to game four, and you're like, "That's your priority. That's my priority. Move it however you want. I don't care. Let's get, let's get this on the way." Uh, so yeah, warp strike on the termies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, usual rubbish. Uh, start with one searchlight group, one non-searchlight group on the bikes. Mm -hmm. um, two ten-man blob of warriors with the nice stuff. Uh, forge master, and then two three-man squads of thunderkin. 
Cool. Pretty easy enough. Um, yeah. What do you give up about no prisoners? Do you know? So uh, one, two, eight, three, four, eight or nine, I think. Five, six, seven, plus the one. Yeah, it's probably eight. It's not yeah. great. There's not nope. that good. Uh, seven on assassination, and uh, yeah, six on bring it down. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. Can't your current companions have unit champions in them? What's that would be upset. I know, give, I agree. Just give one of those guys an extra attack, please. Well, they have craniums, so theoretically they could be <laughs> feasted, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah but uh, I mean, we're going to feast on craniums, but it, you test, it's the it's the quality of the cranium. And unfortunately, these the Hunkin Pioneers are real dumb, is the problem. <laughs> like, they're here for a for a good time, not a long time. They're just, right. just going to get blown up. Um, My last objective will be... I might just take cranial feasting anyway. That is what I did on Saturday. Yeah, I can't believe you, man. Uh, <laughs> do you give up anything massive? I don't. Think uh, so. I know mean, prisoners is I think like all I think ten I counted. Um, and I do have a lot of characters and psychers, so it's four characters and they're all psychers. So I give also give up twelve on a poor and thirteen on assassinate. Pretty nice. Uh, I'll take a I'll take a nice little no prisoners. We'll go for a uh, um. As much as it never worked for me, I'm going to take lay claim because I think it's funny. And uh, that is let's, funny. Uh, I'm trying to think of category. Um, let's go with a war. Cool. Love it. Sounds All right. good. Easy, easy as that, man. Easy a, as that. Attacker and defender, I guess. I guess we should have done yes, this first, sir. but whatever. I got a one. Big one. It is. Oh, three. Got me. Look at that. The rich get richer. Uh, do you want to move the objective first or second? I think is the question here. Oh jeez, I've got the wait. There, I've got the book here because I yeah, apparently so just love throwing money at GW. De deploy first, or de yeah, move first, deploy second, basically, because defender moves uh, the double. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'll, I guess I'll move first. Yep. Uh. Label D. These two. Let's go with. Uh, do -do. This one up here, and we're just going to uh, move it six inches back this way. Yep. Uh, oh, it's not got a measure on. Just press escape. All right, there you go. It's fine. Or just drop it. Just play. Yeah, if you press uh, two, it turns into the little tiny objective marker, so you don't have to deal with the whole disc. Nice. Ah, we'll just stick it around here. That'll do. OK. Um, I think I will do the same. Look at that tiny little objective marker. Look at this little guy. What a cutie pie. Guy. What a cutie pie. All right. Did it. Um, yeah, that's fine. And, oh, and then I get to do yours, too. I guess we'll pull it forward. Yeah, yeah man. Makes sense. Makes sense, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, um, and then you move mine. Yeah, I suppose I'll return the favor. Wow. Amazing. Let's put one on. Oh, this is actually not that far up. Cool. There you go. Now let's take a lock on that. Oop. Oh! 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 She do be diagonal. Uh, there. Do this thing. Yeah, I just want to run here. Just so I can't hold it from behind the wall, right? Is the idea? I mind pretty much. Yeah, that's yeah, the intention. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Thanks, bud. Cool. Um, yeah, you're probably like that, I think. Okay. Love it. Um, and then I am deploying the first unit. Yes, sir. Uh, let's place down some terms. Uh, oh, so just for clarity, the, um, uh, the green Neurothrope, green for guidance. So he's plus one to cast and gives somebody plus one to hit. Uh, yep. The red Nerthrope is red for really good at holding objectives because he's got the uh, World of Trade to count as five models. Uh, this good, guy's man. got the five up um, damage ignore. He's the Warlord. And then he also has <laughs> the relic that gives him wound rerolls in melee, which is oh, great. No. <laughs> oh, no. You know, you know what, man? Like, I could go. Like, we could grab, some, <laughs> we could grab someone else. <laughs> no, no, it's good. Oh, uh, dear. Oh, uh, dearie me. Uh, we'll just string these guys back. Uh, actually, we'll put them just, back uh, here just so we don't get warp struck. 
Yeah, quick thing as well, Drew. I've got mm -hmm. uh, the two the two uh, three man squads of Thunderkinder and Strat. Okay. Just so you know, well, and uh, yeah, obviously warp strike, but I'm not gonna. They're not in deep strike. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. And then this guy go over here, just so you can't fit a huge iron here unit back there, and then these guys will go like this. Cool beans. Okay, I'm gonna call out these squads because there's a. Uh, 10 actually, mana, the troops going in them. Mm, actually, I think I'm going to go over here. I'm, I've decided. I can screen that back line with other stuff, but this is going to be tougher. So we're just going to put these guys here. So we don't get destroyed by warp strike oh. on this corner. Uh, they'll just be outside the dents. That's good. One sec, I just accidentally deleted my nice little troop blob. Oh, yeah, you know that. I'll wait till later to do that, right? Yeah. No, that's my job, is to delete your... Exactly. <laughs> uh, so... Right. I'll put these two guys in the den. So we will be, I guess, in the difficult. So, so it's good, man. Well just uh, these guys over here. Because it won't matter. We are... Uh, going to pop a heck in behind here. Inside of which is uh, a 10-man squad. Okay. Love it. Um, I will put down the Venom Thropes. They're not really doing anything right now. So I think they will... Do the, does the scanners ignore all cover or just light cover? Just light. Just light. Ugh. The Brokier, uh, the Thunderkin ignore dense. Yeah, but not light, right? <laughs> no. Yeah, scary. exactly, yeah. Because <laughs> of whatever. Um, all right, we'll put these guys back here. That seems good. We'll just keep a guy with an eight of the objective in case we want to go banner it. You're up. Well, continue as we started. Uh, we're gonna fire another heck in here. People are saying Wigard was fine for a few Stick months. Yeah, and it well, has, uh, was fine for a few months because you couldn't it. play the new codex. Everyone's like, oh, Guard's fine. Look at their win rate's not even that good. And you're like, yeah, their win rate with the old codex. <laughs> of course their win rate with the old shitty codex isn't good. I don't know what I'm doing with these guys. You got any indirect shooting in there? Remember when uh, double shooting Hive Guard were a thing? Were I do thing. remember. I was just looking at Hive Guard the other day because I was like, well, maybe they'll go in this list because I need some guns. And then I was <laughs> I remembered that they don't have core anymore. Yeah, <laughs> so remember that they were honking. <laughs> you can't put the stupid rerolls on them. Yeah. I was like, what a Fucking fucking armored sentinel has core, but my hive guard <laughs> can't get it. My, like my, like sixty point two shot hive guard, strength my, uh, seven hive guard can't get core. Fuck you. My buddy has some, and all they do is sit on his shelf while he laments that they're not tyrant guard. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was lucky when the codex came out. I had one because I was like, I was gonna get a third unit just because like mm. every once in a while I would get a unit of hive guard out of like tournament winnings or whatever. And I was just like, ah, just like in case, like I'll pick this one up and like maybe I'll make a third unit of Hive Guard, but I'll like probably never play that list, so it doesn't really matter. And then like as soon as they do a codex, they're just gonna go there. Uh, and yeah. Tyrant Guard were good. I was you know like dig dig through my pile of shame for this like box of three three unassembled Hiram Tyrant Guard. Oh dear. I was like, yeah, I took a three mana bikes over there. I'm so happy. Uh, all right, I'm going to place thus this one swarmy boy right here. He do be that swarmy. He's a swarmy guy, this this man. Um, I guess we could go like within three of the thing in case it matters. All right, within six, it doesn't actually matter. Oh, he'll just go there. Back to you. That's good. Uh, let's go with a three-man bubble bikes. Uh, I'll stay on the central. Uh, you any forward deploy or anything I should be aware of? Yeah, no, the gene stealers. So. Oh, the gene stealers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, three man blob of bikes there will do. Cool. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let's do this hive tyrant. Uh, actually, we'll do another tyrant guardian. It. Just make sure I'm in. These guys are all placed. They'll just go right up against the wall here. Yeah, boss. What are you going to do? Charge me? Fuck out of here. <laughs> How dare I? Uh, take That's the old Forge Master uh, back here in the dens. Just uh, yeah, Warhammer community made a thing that basically said like the <laughs> like don't pay attention to the thing where you can't put people on <laughs> the objectives on terrain. 
because <laughs> US Open came out and then suddenly the objectives could not not be placed on terrain and they were like, uh, I, I don't up, know what's going uh, I picked up one of those code right models, uh, the new Radron Overlords ones. I don't mm -hmm. know if you've seen them. Yeah. Uh, but I was like, that's just a Cal model. Like, you, don't lie to me. That's a Cal. <laughs> I will be painting it as such and you will take no objection to it. Uh, put this guy here with them three of the Tyrant Guard over there. Yeah, man. Uh, he's uh, got a big Venom Cannon, so look out. He's oh going to no. get you. Big, big Venom Cannon. Stick uh, Uthar eh, as far forward as I dare, but hopefully, with, if anything, he can't. I mean, he's not going to be able to see a damn thing, but whatever. Uthar's a blind. Uh, okay. We'll put this guy all the way back here within three of the Hive Tyrant, so you can't warp strike me. That's a phone call. Uh, let's stick the. Uh, we're gonna stick the hearth guard down here. Okay. Just model them a bit, a bit, but down here in essence. You could have put swarm guard in a better place. But that's okay. Uh, just put this neuro twelve inches away from swarmy over here. Yeah, man. It's very uh, cunning neuro throw. Then I am. Uh, I'm done and dusted. Okay. Cool. So I'm just put all my guys down. So um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna make a quick cup of tea, but yeah, I can yeah, still get you. What do we do about the pioneers? Are we even that worried about pioneers? I don't think I can stop both units. I said this about pioneers, right? I'm gonna start taking like a toffee or like a piece of chocolate and leaving them next to my pioneers. At tournaments and every time I think about leaving them out in the open instead I eat the chocolate and that's my reward for not being an <laughs> idiot uh, I think it could work it's got potential I can't I guess I do want to stop these guys from running at me so we may put the gene stealers in front but I actually you can't because they could go over here and then shoot this one. Yeah, so it literally doesn't matter. So we're just going to put the gene stealers over here. Uh, uh, and they'll run away if I do anything. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. And then these tyrant. All right, let's put the carnifexes. Um, and then these other Tyrant Guard. What's the range on the Hearth Guard? Isn't that? Isn't that? Uh, fairly mid range. 20. 2418s. Oh, they have plasma. Nice. Yeah, you got plasma. They don't have the Mortal Wound guns. 24, okay. So we can just put these guys back here, and we're mostly not going to get killed immediately. Shoot that way. Yeah, it's like a, it's a little space you could shoot me there. So we'll just keep these guys pretty far back. I'm on. They're not going to do good. anything until turn three anyway. All right. Uh, we'll call that a deployment. Yeah, we'll call that deployment. All right. Well, I know. Cool. Uh, how many CPUs you start with? I start with three. Ooh. I know. Right. I'm rich. Um, I'm pretty um, sure I start with zero because the Hive Tyrant cost me one. And then I gave him a Relic and Warlord trait. And then a Relic and a Warlord trait and another Warlord trait. Yep. I'll uh, give you these three as well for the old lay claim if you fancy it. Sounds good. Uh, oh, yeah. So I just placed these. Yeah. So it's six from your deployment zone, six from a table edge, and nine from each other. You can uh, you can giga brain it if you want. Uh, I played a guy the other day there who just put them all, you know, within nine inches of each other in one corner. I was like, well, I guess I'll be over there for the rest of this game. Um, and then these are the ones you have to hold these at the end of the game. Is that right? End of the game, yeah. Five points for each one I hold. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't... 
putting a mile in one place actually whole... seems really bad for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hundred percent. That's what I mean. Like, I, yeah, that's what I mean. I jest. Like, it's not the uh, it's not the Giga Brain. Like, it's it's pretty because you can just land fortresses are uh, pretty fat. Yeah. Uh, nine inches away from each other. Yeah, man. So that should be good. Then I'm gonna be like, okay. All right. So just just put them basically near my side of the table. Sweet as a nut. Uh, okay. Oops. Good. All right. Uh, the big roll. Yes, sir. Bloop. I got one again. <laughs> I got a three. Yeah, oh, it's just the same roll. Yeah. Oh, oh no, it is. It is. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, no. Uh, you're up. Well, yeah. So Good luck so. and stuff. Give me a little hand. You too, sir. I don't have do any pre little, stuff, uh, so do your thing. Get these little pre-games in, I suppose. Uh, so. um, yeah, so GW did said it had a thing where they were like, uh, I don't know, uh, you can ignore the thing that says, that says you can't place the objectives oh, on defensible. These guys are so, 12. But we just went with that, basically. Um, WTC puts the objectives on defensible anyway, so like, I think that we kind of have permission. Um, it's around here. Bunch of Titan Guard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Guard has been skyrocketing for a month, like, like almost yeah. literally because they couldn't be played. They couldn't be played since like February, um, so they've only okay. been so, played in their current stuff, incarnation uh, for a month. Nothing massive. I can't really. Yeah, Uthar's. Oh, haha! I can see your Nudithrope. Have one of those, sir. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> well, that's off. That's terrible. It's the it's the politest thing I've ever done. Um, and then. On that notion, I'll give this red tech a ton, plus one ballistic skill. Chances are it's not going to be able to see anything, so it, we're not really going to worry too much about it. But that's what it has. Fair enough. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, sorry, pardon me. No, he cannot. That's fine. Uh, okay, so on to the old movement there. Going to move these guys up there, uh, 12 to here. Should be able to get a line on these Steelers. I think they could also just go into the terrain too. Pardon me? Oh yeah, that, I suppose that could work. Yeah. Just touch it. Bloop. There you go. go. Give it a little... You boop. can see me now. And then I'll just bump these guys back a little bit. And there we go. And by association, can be seen. Uh, smash it. Uh, do, do, do. I'm gonna uh, advance these hearth guard. Not that they really need it, but I'll give them a little advance. Picked everything up there, so moving eight. So I was thinking about this list. I think this one might be like dense. the one list that uh, Broodlord's pretty good in. Joe, over to this. Because it's imperative here. normally is is like hot garbo, uh, and it doesn't interact with naturalized camouflage, but it can give you nah, just string them back cover when you're in the open and if you're taking a charge on the chin because you're a hunt the entire army is going to try to touch cover anyway you can um uh we're going to advance with uh, uh you can get heavy eight, if i remember two, correctly yeah. so you can actually put the tyrant guard to a one up in combat Four to here. and that's pretty big deal six to here so this heck oh, it's like so much combat's ap2 right now that they just like save on threes here. and they don't die I do think I might have too many relics and warlord traits, to be honest. Though. Gonna, oh, excuse me. I'm a little bit un it's a little unfortunate. Move these chaps forward but first. But it is what it is. Advance. I think I don't know. Two, I brought yeah. two ty two hive tyrants because I was like, oh, it'll be great because yeah. the um I need I need all the hive tyrants or yeah. I have all the tyrant yeah. guards, so Although I might as well I bring I'm max hive tyrants, guard, so. right? That makes total sense. And then I was uh, like, okay. It cost me a billion CP to make that guy good. Garbage. Psychic. Uh, psychics for dorks. I've always said that. Um, all of these guys uh, are going to go into the gene stealers. How dare you? I know. Uh, personally, I'm disgusted by myself, but, you know. Yeah, you should be. Has to happen. Uh, so, 10 shots. We'll start with the high lads. Mm hmm So, uh, 10 shots, 3s in... I want to say 3s, more than likely. Yeah, T4. Uh, nice. I don't have a, no, I don't have a comms unit in this, so that's fine. Threes, I have threes, uh, four saves, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay no. then. Okay, yep. 
Uh, can you kill me with uh, many auto cannons? Probably. Yeah, more than likely. And then threes. Uh, uh, three more. Three five ups? No, they're dead. Oh, he tried. No, not quite. Tried. Almost made you roll the shotguns. Yeah, I know. And then, hey, when it gets down to the pistols, that's when you know you just need to stop shooting. <laughs> <laughs> that's when it's gone dreadfully wrong. Uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna throw do, 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 everything from this my, uh, everything from this heck into the termagants here. Okay, uh, I think you'll get minus one for the dents because I don't uh, think. Good uh, point. Oh, this guy's touching. Yeah. Uh, what I'll do is I'll shoot with the the red heck. That's the plus one ballistic skill one. Okay. So it'll be back to threes. Sure. Uh, so on threes. This is the. Big, uh, we hit the big cannon. Yeah. The big cannon, yeah. So hitting on a three, and then I'll auto spill it with Uthar. So yep. AP minus four uh, on that. So they just die, yeah. 2d3 plus six. Uh, I guess you could roll all once. All yeah, once? Man. Do it. 2d3 plus six? Oh, uh, no. Okay. Um. Yeah, you know. Yeah, well, uh, that'll be that. Okay. So if there's anything else in line of sight, nothing massively interesting anyway. Uh. I, yeah, I'm, I guess I'm going to get tired at guard in the bum, but that's fine. Uh, no charges probably, to declare. Probably in your face, because you're right there. Well, yeah. I can turn them if you want. Uh, but yeah, over <laughs> to you, sir. <laughs> uh, cool. All right. I'm going to do... Oh, I didn't get my tokens out, because I'm smart. Um, I'm going to do... Uh, I'll give all the buffs... Is Carnifex a scenery? All the buffs. I need to be in front of this. How far do you move it to get Carnifex? Eight? Yeah. Maybe one Carnifex can see. A, a, a bike. A bikey boy. One um, small bike boy. So I'll give him Chapter Master. That'll be the red one. Um, Chapter Maestro. And you can't. Can you minus one the Hernkin in melee or no? No, no, it's only ranged. Okay, so we'll give him plus one to hit. We'll give reroll one to so these Tyrant Guard. Um, I don't know if this Carnifex wants to leave. I guess we can shoot some like one or two high Hearth Guard and then feel sad. Uh, all right, and then that's just what we'll do. The so we're oh and then warp siphons i have two of those um um we'll just have them be on the neurothropes all right let's move uh so these guys will advance i guess we're that's good to me so they can go 10. Do, do, do. Actually, what is the distance to this objective? Oh, it's actually really easy. Uh, I'm gonna put his warp siphon on Swarmlord. Uh -huh. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Whoa! Here we come. Uh, this guy will advance. He's not gonna cast any spells this turn, so he goes eight. He's gonna just go here. Uh, he'll go here and not fall over because he's awesome. Um, and he's gonna, I can put that to two because he's gonna do a uh, banner over there. Okay, dope. Um, these Tyrant Guard will advance. Three. Right, yeah, because these guys are gonna move so they can go 10 because we, I think I, I docked myself a move on not those other guys. But we go extra distance because we have Adrenal Glands. We. Um, don't know if I'm that worried about you warp striking like over here. It's probably fine if you want to do that. Uh, I'll put a couple guys in cover. Who doesn't ignore cover? It's just the land fortresses that do, and the pioneers, right? Land fortresses and uh, my warriors. The pioneers don't have uh, scanners. Oh, they don't. Oh. Nah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's useful then. Um, so these guys will be out of the cover. These guys will be in the cover back here. I'm in. Uh, these Venom Thropes are going to move eight inches, and they'll do the banner on this objective. Well, that reminds me, actually. So this chap bannered over here? Yeah, so the near I already yeah. put one on him. Yeah, a second one. Honestly. Such a gentleman. Chuck one down. 
So you have to be in your bio and a refund yet. It's gonna just be over here. Give myself the, the biggest reach I can with my venom throw. Uh, these Tyrant Guard will just advance. They're not doing anything. Yep. Go five inches. They're just gonna walk around. Oop. Oh, they go twelve, I guess. They'll just go like this. Um, what we don't want to do is get. We just run out in the open. I think we actually do, because I think you might have to shoot the other tyrant guard. Uh, but you have all the land fortresses on this side. Yeah, no, we'll we'll, keep, we'll stay safe. Discretion being the better part of valor. Um, this is over here. It's got a broken token. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I just renamed it with whatever the hell I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, know, I called it what I called it. So. That line of sight's like that, which is too far for the land fortress, it looks like. So you might be able to shoot me with something, but not a land fortress. Um, and then we'll just check the shot back. We want to shoot a Carnifex at these guys, which we do. Um, and he'll just have to be a little bit farther up. So this Carnifex goes six, seven, eight, and draws like that to a pioneer this guy will do this and like come back here and shoot that one hearth guard he like spins around a bunch uh, okay um and this is all on this carnifex the swarm lord will advance i guess cool we'll just go here okay it's okay uh, and then this guy will move up to here, and so he can see, hopefully, two pioneers. Uh, I don't think I can actually get that far, so he can see the one pioneer. Um, all right. The Neurothroat back here is doing the screens. We'll just be chilling like that. Okay. I think that's good. Uh, all right. So we'll do Psychic. Um, I'm going to cast uh, Onslaught with this guy. Yeah. Nailed it onto these guys so they can charge. Catalyst. Nailed it. We'll also put it on those guys. So they ignore damage yeah. on a five. Um, that's it for him. The Swarm Lord will cast Paroxysm. Nailed it on these guys so they can't overwatch. And then he'll cast the Behemoth Power. Nailed it on these guys. So plus one to wounded melee. Lovely. Uh, plus one, two wound. And then the other guy will do, I guess this might, goes off on a six. So D3 to the pioneers, two. Two the pioneers, one's then to, uh, what you call it? Oh, that's the wrong button. A number. Um, and the charge here's a four, basically, regardless. So I'll just do a screen with them. I fail anyway, doesn't matter. Okay. That's it for that shooting. Um, this Carnifex, it's all tooled up. We'll shoot the pioneers. Oh, so uh, minus one already... for the thing. Yeah, it's no point. Mag Raiders in. Uh, oh, he does have a plus one, so you could. Get oh yeah, I'll, my, I'll, so I'll pop a CP for uh, Mag Raiders. Sure, Mag so, Raiders minus one. Misses. I'm chapter mastered. Two hits. Wounds on threes. Two wounds. AP three. AP three. So you two save we're on nonsense. Sixes. Yep. Yep. Sixes. Uh, no, doesn't even add up to six. Four each. Okay, we'll take uh, we'll take this chap. Yeah, we'll take this chap. Okay, cool. So the other guy that can't shoot anything except for these guys who I want to charge. So we're not going to do that. Um, I probably should have put myself so I could see hearth guard, but I didn't. This guy will shoot the hearth guard at minus one. Yeah, man. So hits on fours. Bam. Two hits. Wounds on threes. One wound. AP three. AP three. Four up. Yeah. Nope. Close one. Do that. Four. Four damage. Okay. Just pull one chap. Yeah. Um. All right. 
that's it for that. We'll do charges. Uh, these guys will charge here. Sounds good. Beep. Go seven inches. We're just going to do this, I think. Do like that so they all can swing. Uh, I won't bother doing any fancy maneuvering. Um, I'm just going to roll my attacks. Uh, actually, I will keep a guy within three of Stormlord. Five on. So like this. Mm -mm -mm. That gives them plus one attack. Hey, yeah, you grunt. And then he'll just be like that, so we're at half. Cool. Um, all right, so they will have uh, 20 big attacks on oh, no. threes, re-rolling ones. Uh, and then on twos, because we have plus one wound. Yeah. Uh, those are AP4. So oh, 11 AP4s? Like, yeah, yeah just get some. Yeah, uh, absolutely. We'll do a consolidate towards this guy, and we're basically just going to do... 6. So this guy can go here. This guy can go here. And this guy can go here. Can go like that. That guy can go like that. And then we'll pay one for overrun at the end of the phase. And they're just going to eat onto this objective, basically. Nice, dude. Whee! Speedy boys. Speedy boys. Um, You don't ignore dents. And I'm not going to be in the Venom Thorbora. So we may as well actually just put them in the in the terrain. Go five like this. And within three of this guy so he doesn't get shot. So we might normally go seven, so the difficult will mm -hmm. put me down to five. Um, five. Five and... Uh, we'll do Uh, one guy might be able to, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah, so it won't matter then if I can get that point. Okay. Um, that is it for that. So we are Holy over stuff. to you. Okay, so I'll grab um, a hold one, hold two. Yeah, command phase. We uh, are gonna. Buff... I'll do my plus one to cast this turn for my imperative. Sounds good, man. Uh, I'm gonna chuck a um, the plus one to hit on the heck, mm -hmm. the blue heck. Sorry, to be clear. Yep. Uh, no, yeah. We're gonna uh, just jump over a moment. Gonna move these chaps. There are five over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Pioneer need more... Oh, no, he's fine. He's in eight. Nah, eight. Doesn't even care about those guys. Nah, he's like, what? <laughs> Where did they go? Who were those guys, even? Are they in my unit? I uh, was talking to my buddy the other day. He plays Night Lords. He was telling me... Uh, or he asked me, what's the... I don't know why I asked, but I can guess why I asked. He's like, what's the leadership of a Hecaton? I was like, why the hell would I ever know that? <laughs> <laughs> I would have any reason to know that. <laughs> I have no idea. Couldn't tell you, mate. A million. <laughs> uh, okay, we are gonna uh, get the ten-man blob out of this one. Mm -hmm. Get out of this rubbish. Oh, you'll have to pardon me. At the end of your turn, I'll give a second token to these guys. They're on the objective, right? Mm-hmm. And I'd be more than happy to give them a second token. Nice. Uh, these guys, if they can just move, which they can, they're going to move over here. I presume you're not touching this uh, terrain. Correct. Yeah, perfect. So I'm just going to get these guys touching this objective. Nice. Oh, so you'll be going thinking a little of, fast. Probably could have gotten, make the game quicker. Oh, I just made everything move five inches. Yeah, that'd be pretty dope. Second Do shot on those hearth guard. That would have been good. Um, missed the shot on this heck. Tyrant. Just move forward. would have missed anyway. Ten. I don't know if I like the second half tyrant here. Like, I don't think it's great. It doesn't get the living daylight oh. slaughtered out of him. Um, it doesn't matter this turn. Uthar's just going to pile down here. Five. 
this hack is no zero chance of that happening yeah we're just going to move this hack forward plonk his fat bomb on that and uh, get these guys moving forward a little bit advance them into this tree so yeah Hmm. 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 Okay, that's our movement. Um. No relic gun. We took relic melee. The relic gun's like a trap, I think. In yeah. my so we're gonna bring in these uh, thunderkin back here. Nice. Question then becomes. Hmm. I guess I don't have a line on. Nah, not a chance. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'll wait on those second guys. Uh, so that's going to be the end of my movement. Uh, to reiterate, uh, psychics for dorks. <laughs> um, so we'll start shooting. Um, I'm going to throw these Thunderkin into uh, these Tyrant Guard. Sure. I'm Go going to spend it. a CP for uh, uh, Ancestral Sentence, so they'll have full rerolls on this. Yep. And uh, this is where they roll three shots. Love it. Ooh, yeah, that seems about right. Close. Uh, we'll CP reroll that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that seems about right. Love that, Okay. Too. Hi. Six shots rerolling, right? You've got to make the most of them. Uh, auto wounding on fours here. Yep. Oh, there you go. Uh, we'll reroll that. Nice. There we go. Uh, AP so, AP3. three. Okay, so uh, we'll just do the guys in cover to start. So we save on f one, two, and threes. Let's go. Nice. Um, let us roll three. One goes through. Three damage, yeah? Yes, sir. Five ups. Take one. The next one. I'll just roll three more because I can't yeah, man. lose more than two here. Two go through. So the wounded guy lives on one. <laughs> okay. Oh. Spicy. <laughs> okay. That's what we like. Uh, okay. uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go Tyrant Guard. Tyrant Guard, eh? Likey boy. Uh, okay. So, um, I really let's... appreciate that you didn't ignore like over there. That was... That, that yeah, that was me, handy. That makes me happy. That was handy dandy. Uh, let's start as we mean to go on. I'll just throw the buffed up heck into these guys. Yep. Um... So it'll be back to three creature within the dense. Uh, I'll spend a CP on Hunter's Mark. No brood Lord. Brood Lord. The Brood Lord light uh, cover doesn't work, really. So we'll, actually, but I think I it might GTL be good because it gives so... you heavy cover, and that might be Yeah, hang on a three. Now nah, I'll just spend it. Uh, make it an auto six with uh, Uthar. Mm -hmm. So uh, AP minus four, no invulns. Uh... Go back to a five because of the cover. Uh, well, you ignore cover, right? So oh, yeah, on the pants. Save on a six. Yeah, save on a six. Yes, sir. Oh, goes through. So that uh, that'll be uh, do, 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 three, four, ten damage, please. Is this? Did we do the splitting thing, or is this just? Yeah, um... that, that we used. Uh, so we hit with okay. automatically because you have a token, and then we use Uthar to make the wound uh... roll a six. Technically, technically, I can roll it in advance to see if I get a six, and then he modifies the result to a six. Okay. The what makes him hit automatically is that a trap. Pardon me. What makes him hit automatically? Oh, it has. It's a strat, yeah. Yeah, okay. with a token, you can spend a CP for a thing yeah. called Hunter's Mark. Cool. Um, and that is ten damage. You said. Ten, yeah. Cool. Five ups. I will take seven. So we lose this guy, and another guy. We'll just pull. Uh, this guy because I don't care about cover anyway. Mm -hmm. That's five, six, seven. Okay. Cool. And then we've got a. Uh... Uh, let's see, what toughness are you? Six. Okay, so this will be relevant. I'll need to split these up. Apologies. Yeah. Um, there's going to be 12 shots coming in. Uh, hang on threes, right? Yeah. So, uh, and then all winding on fours. And then this will be winding on fours. Uh, okay, so there's eight more saves. This is an AP2. So these are on fours. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, my. Uh, flat two damage. There I'll you take go. One. And then six more shots. Uh, GTL reroll that one, I guess. Nope. 
And then this is on a three, because it's strength seven. Nope, uh, so two more. Uh, they go through, so the first one on the wounded guy, he's dead. The next guy takes two, so you're dead. Lovely. And you took two. We're alive. Very alive. I don't think I can actually see you with anything else. Uh, yeah. hmm. Unfortunately, you can shoot this guy now because he's these are they're too small to character protect for him. It's true. It's just too bad. See, see the swine. Yep. Uh, do, do, do. Can I see him from here? Yes, yep. for sure. Okay, so the red heck will just put everything into the noodle. Okay. Um. Uh, so first shot will be on a. He's in the dense, right? So this is on a four. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we'll do the big gun first. That's a three. GTL reroll it. That's a six. That'll uh, hit. I think he, he has two just tokens. So die. Yeah, no involvement yeah. before. Okay, man. Uh, so that'll be uh, three for a poor or four. Uh, three for character. Three. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Um, and that's that shooting. Uh, not a whole lot of other shooting to do here. So. Uh, we'll move to charges. We'd have to go all the way around. So, uh, I mean, you can you can hit me through the wall because I'm up against it. Oh, you up against it? Sweet yeah. as. So it's probably uh, an eight. Cool. I'll throw him. Yeah, see you're what just happens. Get there. Yeah, man. Oh. Nah. Yeah. They are kind of twisting in the wind. We'll reroll that, I guess. See what all happens. Right. Sure. Go for it. No. Nope. Okay, doke. All right. Uh, I do have to roll morale because their synapse creature died. Uh, oh no. Let's see what they get. Okay. Roll They're so one. brave. Roll to one. Okay, uh, well, uh, over to you. Um, you put a token down. Oh no, end of my turn, right? That's end of your turn, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, well, I do score that objective and two banners. Let's go. Lovely. Love it. Um, all right. Uh, who's got Uthar's re rerolls right now? Anybody? Uh, no. Oh, okay, cool. Love that. Um, sweet. So, where do we put our buffs? Is the question. Uh, I'll give plus one to hit reroll ones here. Uh, chapty masties. Put these guys too far away, but I think that's fine. Um, chapter master will just go on this carnifex. This carnifex. This kind of facts. I've decided. There you go. All right. Um, don't uh, don't suppose you watch any football, Trevi. I don't. Oh well. If anyone's watching, Aaron Rodgers literally just got traded to the Jets. So there you go. If anybody cares. What am oh. I doing about these guys? Are we just gonna fight them with Swarmlord? No. <laughs> of course not. They have an inbound no. save. Do they hell? They barely got trousers on. <laughs> are these? They just are they just two plus armor? These guys or one plus? Yeah, I guess? Two, yeah, well, yeah, one plus. Yeah, one plus armor. Right. And they're T five. Yeah, T five. One plus Swarm. armor minus one damage. Swarm, do you like you match up literally perfectly into them? What a yeah, absolute, man. What an absolute Chad. <laughs> What a king. What a king. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess Stormlord will mix it up with these guys. Let's go. Can you Warp Strike out of melee? I Can believe you do sight so. Sight teleport to leave melee. Because I know I'll the demon one. The demon one can't. Let me go have a peek at that. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go. I might advance these guys and onslaught. Oh, no, I have to advance Stormlord and onslaught him. So we, uh, we'll just have to pull a Tyrant card back here. We... Doesn't say anything about um, with an engagement range or, or anything like that. Sometimes it says uh, it's like when you perform a normal move. Uh, that's, that's usually the rider that makes things look funky. Cool. Uh, start your movement phase. Select a teleportation unit from your army and remove it from the battlefield. Oh, cool. Yeah. So it's like Barbie's key. Mm -hmm. um, this guy needs a buddy. I think what we'll just do is have this guy be back here and this guy be back here. And then he has two friends over here. And then this guy could be up here still. Cool. Downside of taking the six-man unit. Also, these broke here if they blast on me, which is awkward. <laughs> 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 um, all right. Swarmlord's going to advance because he's a brave soldier. Okay. Thanks, Swarmlord. Love you. Let's go, Swarmlord. Let's go. 
Um, these guys are just ready to get killed by the next unit of Burkir Thunderkin. They're just, they're so excited for that. Um, thrilled. This hive tyrant is gonna move up. Don't can I get anyone? Can I get far enough to see this guy? Probably not. He's like way far back there. Uh, line of sights like this. Now I have to be like in the middle. Sag. Bad boys. He will just touch the terrain though, so he can see. I mean, he can shoot. Whatever. But you've got armor on this thing, so I'm not gonna shoot that because it's worthless. But I can shoot any of the other things, so that's fine. Um, these venom thropes will do a little advancey, I guess. Ooh, baby, spicy meatball. A six? We go to the middle. Sure. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna have obsec in these guys from Swarm Lord, by the way. Uh, here we go. Cool. Um, are they obsec tent size? Nah, nah, there's one. Just okay, one weird. model. So we're two, but I think we're yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, the hope is that they're gonna die. zero very soon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's run. We're two while we exist. What are you gonna do? Shoot venom throbes with your guns? Get out of here! Damn it. Get out of here! Uh, Carney will move eight and basically see many of the same things that the hive tyrant can. Go like this and be within six of his friends. These guys are going to advance. We're going to hope that the threat of warp strike is exaggerated this coming turn. These guys will run a... They can't get to this objective, can they? They could! Hmm. Sure. Uh, this guy will go run towards it so he gets on the objective. Mm -hmm. And these guys will just sort of... Do a little stringy. I guess this guy. Wait, what am I doing? I only move eight inches. Yeah. So we'll do this. And then I have another guy back here. Just keep these guys back here and cover. Okay, um, this Carnifex is going to just walk over here, and he's going to shoot Brick Your Thunderkin. Um, oh, and cool then you didn't know. these guys, we could go charge these dudes. Um, let's do it. At least that makes your shooting at Swarm Lord really awkward. Man, I didn't know how much I needed plus one movement on the guard, but it does feel much better than the six. It's weird. The difference between six and seven feels very, very large. Uh, this guy has to be a little bit farther back for coherency. All right, let's do psychic. Oh, no, this guy has to move. Speaking of psychic powers. Whee! He moves seven inches. Let's go. Um, I guess also while I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to touch both of this guy. Um, he'll just run back here. He doesn't need to be, like, in danger. Okay. Uh, let's do psychic phase. Um, I'm gonna do this guy. He'll do the onslaught. Nailed it. Mm -hmm. Catalyst. Really? <laughs> really, my guy? Uh, I gotta reroll that. That sucks. Yeah. Boop. Okay. Well, I'll take the one that doesn't barrels. Yeah. Uh, Catalyst will be on the six man in the middle. Um, that's it for him. Uh, this guy will, our Swarm Lord will do interrogation onto Uthar back there. Uh, gets the CP, so that's fun. Uh, and then you can put a token on me. I'd love to. And then this guy will do smite. Uh, what do I have on him? The horror? I do. Uh, he'll cast the horror. Goes off over here. And then we'll cast the behemoth power, I guess. 
These guys are strength eight right now, so they don't actually need it. We'll put it on these guys. Nailed it. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did, because I'm supposed to cast this turn. Yeah, we're so good at rolling Lovely. dice. We'll put it on those guys. Uh, okay. Now it's time to shoot. Um, okay. This boogie. guy over here that can only see the broke here, Thundercan, is going to shoot them. Blam. Okay, good start. Oh, my. Blam. Uh, three ones, AP three. Come on, uh, so fives, yeah. Please just fail them all. Make my life easier. I'd rather not. No! Haha. -ha. Kills one. How about that? Uh, I'll shoot him with the other Carnifex. That's Chapter well, Master. Uh, He's well, going to no. go through the thing. <laughs> yep. So fours, but I reroll because one more told him to. Mm -hmm. Two hits and threes. Two wins. Two wins. Fives. Nope. Neither. Yeah. Both dead. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Um, there we go. This tyrant doesn't have any great shots. I might as well just shoot the land fortress. Okay, man. Because, like... So, like, basically, literally, doesn't matter. Shit. <laughs> one <laughs> gun. Um, I'll shoot the hearth guard. Whatever. It's on threes. Okay, fair enough. No wounds. Nope. All right. This is why you don't take the relic gun, chat. This, guy, this guy's really <laughs> terrible at shooting. Turns out when you can't get these guys rerolls, they don't do anything. Uh, all right, let's do charges. Yes, sir. Um, the Venom Thrips can't charge. The Tyrant Guard can. They'll charge these warriors. Sounds good. Rah. Four. We'll do it. Um, I guess... Do I need all the Tyrant Guard to kill these guys? We could overrun them at the end, actually. So maybe... We'll, we'll just do this, and then we'll see how we feel. Um, oh, these Tyrant Guard will charge the Hearth Guard. Do you have a token on those guys? You do. Uh, uh, I'm going to overwatch. I do have a token. Sure. Just in case. Uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, 76 grenade shots. Oh, that's a lot. 34. Wow. Wow. Uh, are they within... Nope. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, sixes. Uh, two. Cool. Uh, AP one. Uh, yep, save on two. Use and yeah. cover. Good. Sweet. And then uh, the seven big guns. Yes. Yep. They yes. do be that easy. 11 inch charge let's go <laughs> <laughs> that's what you need that's uh, what you need unnecessary tyrant guard that that's how we say unnecessary. just showing off yeah we'll just be an inch outside this thing and then we're gonna go touch that with some tyrant guard um yeah, swarmy is going to charge them also nailed it um he'll go here and then we're fighting Sounds uh good. so we'll just swing swarmy at you because he's exciting yeah, and fun um, actually, let's swing the Tyrant Guard first. If you interrupt on Swarm Lord, it doesn't really do that much. I don't, I don't have CP. Oh, yeah, you spent one. So, yep, because so I'm dumb. Uh, so we'll just swing at these guys. Uh, they each get four from the Claws because they're next to a Hive Tyrant. Mm -hmm. um, no buffs, but they do have plus one to wound, so threes to hit. Oh, and then twos to wound. Uh, so that is six at AP four. Six at AP four. Uh, into the guard, yeah. So into the ones. hearth guard, yep. Okay, pass two, drop four. Just one, damage? Damage, one damage each, and then their shitty okay. little tiny claws. Uh, miss one and wound on twos. Uh, so uh, three AP one, so you're just on your two up. Okay, three two ups. Gotcha. Cool. Yep, we're good. All right, uh, and then we'll just like base all everybody over here, and have the healthy guy be next to the main fortress. Sounds good. Uh, Swarm Lord will go. He'll just go like this to be in the terrain and within three of both of the Tyrant Guard. Mm -hmm. um, and he rolls nine attacks. Can't use any stratagems here, so here we go. Miss one. Wounds on twos. Um, seven AP four. Seven AP four. Okay, five ups. Uh, kills uh, four. Pass three, drop four. Kills uh, four. Three damage. Okay. Yep. Yeah, they live. One's alive! We'll just base him. One's alive. He's did it. Uh, Alright, these Tyrant Guard. 
Um, so if we stay with this guy here, they do get extra attack. So it actually makes sense to keep the guy back there because I, I lose one guy attacking you, but I gain five attacks anyway. So that's actually better. So we'll just do this. Cool. Uh, and then they will... Yeah, just all swing. So, uh, cool. so I'm gonna pop. Uh, I'm gonna pop my last CP for transhuman. Uh, I think that's ranged attacks only, right? That's a good question. Let's find out. You think it's that the, that's the the shield crest. Strat? Overcharged shield crest. Uh, target ranged attack. Yeah, yeah correct. Um, it is. A, yeah, it is. Uh, I'm uh, so very far away from you, but it is not in fact ranged yeah. attack. Um, so I get four attacks each, so we'll get 20 attacks from these guys hitting on twos because we give them a the bonus. We're rolling ones, thank God. <laughs> yeah, thank God for that. Hey, and then strength eight, so winning on twos. Uh, so this is 16 EP4. I think they just die. I think they do just die. All right, I'll we'll see if I eat that guy's brain. Oh, it doesn't uh, matter because yeah. I already got a CP I need to spike one. a bunch of fours on the thing. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, because he would... Yeah, he would take like yeah, seven, involved seven plus, involved. And then I still have plus. my little attacks coming at him too. Oh, yeah, yeah, forget it. Uh, all right. So the land fortress, if we touch it, it can shoot me. But then it can't shoot anybody else. But I think that's fine. Oof. I think we're just going to let it not shoot me. So these guys will just sort of consolidate to like this. So they do this big string. Uh, okay, that is my whole turn. You can swing back with that guy. Uh, it's good. Uh, three attacks. On threes, four, uh, yeah, on I threes, fives, all. Uh, so two, and then strength eight. Uh, T8. Under the swarm, yeah, so one more. Uh, so two at AP2. Okay, four ups. First one gets blanked, so I'll just take three. Uh, three uh, damage? Two. What's the damage? Two, damage. Two, two, he doesn't have a hammer. Cool. It's, uh, yeah, oh, okay. Still concussion combat. It's just a weird model. In yeah, yeah, no worries. Um, all right, that is my turn. I guess there's more L on that guy. There is, yeah. So he's um, uh, leadership nine, lost yeah, seven. I did horrify him, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, he's away. Yeah. Goodbye. All right. Goodbye. My turn is done. Good turn. Bloop. Uh, okay. Well. Well, well, well. Uh, yeah, so uh, start, the behemoth tower guard are like kind of bitching in combat, actually. Like strength yeah, eight, eighty-four uh, is like pretty sweet. <laughs> they're also a they're also a pain in the anus to remove. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so start of the turn. We that's are the gimmick, gonna... chats. That uh, that's the gimmick because we're we're bringing hard to kill. Hard to kill, yeah, and we punch good. Doable. We get to five attacks each. And, uh, we are gonna cut a token on this chap. And who else gets a token? Give it to these uh, tyrant guard in the middle. Rude. I do be like that sometimes. We'll get a hold too. <laughs> uh, okay, let's brew this thing. Oh, yeah, I guess the the land fortress gets to like run in, into me. Oh yeah, like, uh, six six attacks on sixes. Two, two, two auto wounds. Save on no EP. Oh, he just huzzah! He kills, <laughs> he kills him. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna CP your own. Yeah, those. man, that's I'll totally CP fair. On my second one here. Ah, yeah. he lives on one. <laughs> what a guy! Please don't kill he me with your <laughs> land fortress, man. <laughs> 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 oh no. Uh, okay, so this is gonna be a bit tricky. Let's see how we get about this. So. uh I'll We're do my fallback uh, in charge imperative this turn, by the way. Sounds good. So I guess we'll bop this guy into the wall. Yep. Do you want to just embark the dudes inside? That should be a good plan, right? Yeah. Just shut those guys. Thank you, go, lads. All the best. You're very much <laughs> just, you're very much just fodder at this point. Uh, so we're going to chuck them out there. They are... Uh, Have you played the, the Sagittar list where you like combat squad those guys? Uh, not yet. I, I still need to, like, Sagittars are basically, uh, unobtainable in Canada at the moment. I oh, have sure. one. And it is, like, it's a pit, like, I also have this, uh, this annoying habit That's where I refuse to, uh, yeah, man. Uh, I, uh, he's got a big bubble on him. It's I have this very annoying habit where I will uh, refuse to play something unless I've got it painted. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's great fun because basically what that means is I paint 2,000 points of stuff and then go, yeah, I don't really want to play this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've been looking at these models for so long. I don't, <laughs> I don't need to see yeah, them these, anymore. Yeah. yeah, these are toilet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're thereabouts. I always Stand like, up. I, end up, I end up doing like the last minute tournament thing where I like 
flash paint a unit at like 2 a.m. before a tournament. Oh yeah, um, love like love that. I finally Always painted good. my Tyrant Guard unit uh, like last week. Yeah. After after having played them for like a full year, <laughs> I, was, I finally strong, finished. Strong they move. finally got the rest of outside of just their base code. <laughs> oh my lord! They look so nice though, but it, was, uh, it took it did take me a while. Let's see. So I can get him to here, here. Oh jeez! Now what we thought? All the best to your son. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least he reduces uh, the damage of the Tyrant Guard to one. I get it. So that's good. Um, I mean, I kind of more want to bot the Swarm Lord in the face, but we'll see what happens. Let's fight. Because, uh, yeah, that's thematically nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you okay. can, because the Swarm is only in range of one Guard unit right now, so you can. Mm. If this Land Forders kills these two guys, which it probably will do, you, then the other guy can uh, shoot the Swarm Lord. You might just kill him. Got to bring these chaps on this board edge, I think. Uh, Yeah, out of here. Yep. Uh, no, because then I'll just all I'll end up really doing is shooting your Neurothrope to what benefit when theoretically I could douse the Swarm Lord in a bunch yeah, of shots. Yeah, that's much better. Oh, yeah, you can uh, shoot the Swarm Lord from where you are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's good. So I think that's us, uh, that's us done all our moving and shaking. Mm hmm. So, <laughs> psychic. Can you imagine? Uh,. <laughs> We'll uh, so we'll throw the the blue heck into the the tyrant guard. Yep. Um. So I guess that's uh, it. Uh, I probably need to keep it. We will uh, we'll manually roll the big gun, so it'll be on a uh, should four. be a four. Yeah. 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 On a four. All right. So, so see. Yeah, you're minus two, but. Oh, actually, so in that case, we, I will spend the the command point for it to auto hit because okay. if I don't do that, it's not going to spill. Does it have to be a hunter weapon auto hit? Well, now you've got me. I mean, it's called Hunter's Mark. So, <laughs> yeah. so you've that, got that me. That is the reason I ask. <laughs> that's, yeah, it's a great question. Hunter's Mark. Uh, no, just a Votan model from your army into a unit that has one or more judgment tokens. There you go. Look at that. And I, I mean, I love, honestly, it's also the, the, the heart way. attack, the <laughs> heart attack you just gave me. It's like, <laughs> Jesus. I'm like, I'm positive it's not that way, but oh my God. Um, uh, all right. And then we'll auto six it with Uthar. Yep. Uh, um, so I'm gonna roll the six here because I'm a yeah. chad. Sorry, just to be clear, oh, uh, it was I, I was gonna say I, I, I wanted to get it out before that six hit. Um, either this, like, I'm declaring the shots elsewhere, just put like the remainder of the shots sure. out of into these, this here. tyrant guard. Yeah, yeah I just wanted to, to manage to get uh, it out. So that just vaporizes them, yeah, because it's like yeah. 10 damage. Yeah, and then yeah. five. All right, fair enough. Goodbye. Uh, and then the remainder of the shots into the other tyrant guard. Yep. So this will uh, be, be minus, only to do... minus two to hit me. Take that. Oh no. Uh, so there's three auto wounds. Mm-hmm. Uh or four auto wounds, sorry. Uh, you have I one have token. GTL, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh AP yeah, two, so, yeah. AP two, yeah. So save on fours. Uh ignore on fives. This is two damage. Uh, I don't know why I rolled them like that, but I don't think it I liked that. I mean I was into it. Yeah. It was visually arresting, as I would describe it. Uh, and then 12 more. Uh, well, you're, you're minus two, right? Minus, yeah. So, so I ignore a minus one, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Because I have the bounce uh, ropes and I'm in dents. I'm with you. Uh, so we get rid of those. Um, so do, it's auto wins, basically, right? Apart from this one. There you it's go. So that's uh, many saves, please. So save on fours. Oh, guys, you're killing me. Oh, oh my. my. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, boy. Uh, all right. And we got to do this the correct way this time so I don't bleed damage for no reason. So the first guy takes two. Takes four, right? The two damage each. Uh, that's I doubled it. I failed four saves and then made put it to eight. Ah, plus. right. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice over here. Uh, so he has taken three so, so far. And he's dead. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. That's what I should have That's why you well, you're that's in the medium box. do that. That's why you're in the medium box. <laughs> Uh, okay, we're going to throw uh, all the broke here into the Swarmy. Mm -hmm. We're going to spend a CP to give some rerolls here. So, let's see how we get on. Uh, 3d6 shots. Yeah, it's acceptable. Uh, 12 shots uh, hitting on your within the dense. Oh, we ignore it. So hit. Yeah. yeah, so. Uh, oh, I am minus one really... for, the, for the Venom Throps. Okay, so, so uh, hit, hitting on fours, but auto wounding on fours. Yes. 
then re-rolling. Nice. Okay, um, night saves. Nice. AP three, please. Um, here are, and these are three damage. They are. Yeah, so we'll just roll, slow roll. So I'll take six down to five. At five. Still at five. Ooh. Baby. All right. <laughs> no, yes. come on. Yes. What is this? Give me, give me that die. Down to two. Uh, I'm calling my mom. That's my that's my that's my my 240 point special character guy. All right, don't. Yeah, he deserves to fair. survive. That's fair. Okay, uh, we'll go with this heck into this uh, blob of tyrant guard. Sure. Um, and then hopefully drop this charge in here, and then yeah, well, hopefully. Uh, okay, so yeah, the the heck in here. So oh, they did they advance? No, they advanced. They advanced uh, okay. just to try and get a toe in. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. All right, shoot my tyrant guard. Get him. Oh, okay. Let's see how we go. Get him. So. Big gun, first of all. Auto wounding on fives. Mm hmm. Uh, that's four. Uh, you're minus one, right? Uh, minus one. Yeah. Oh, minus two. The, the yeah. So, yeah. Well, you, so it yeah. hits. Minus two, I guess. Uh, strength 14. Wound, yeah. So, yeah. Two plus. Twos. Ooh, there you go. Spicy. Go through. 2d3 plus six. One guy's very dead. Oh, no, you can roll a six. Uh, I did not roll a six. I rolled a four. But I do. Oh. I guess like if you roll really low, I could roll five ups. I guess. Oh yeah, fair point. Good point. Uh, think about it. That's probably not low enough. I'll just pull them. All right, shoot me with your little guns. Right. First of all, let's not call them little, right? <laughs> uh. So one auto wound, and then uh, not another one. So one, one auto. Yep. You're good. Yeah, You're good. Wait. And then the next set. The four plus save is finally coming through. Oh, it's been about time, right? On a long enough time scale. I guess the yeah, I guess they the Swarm Lord took all the saving throws from the Tyrant Guard. He was like, guys, sure, you, robbed you have to give your last uh, for me. Seven wounds. Okay. AP two. Four plus. Uh, four go through. And then two damage each. And then we go the first guy takes four, because he can't die to one. Blurp. Oh, the five ups is where it's at. Yeah, that's what you want. Uh he's taking two. Two so far, yeah. Three. He's dead. There we are. The king of five strikes yet again. Someone stop this man. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Uh, let's do a bit of charging now, because, you know, why not? Does he have a gun? Uh, he has a gun. It's okay. You're fishing for sixes, really. Sure. But, you know, sometimes sixes become things. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's fire with those gun. Three shots. Who was your net? Uh, sorry, pardon the me. Tyrant guard. Tyrant guard. Cool. Yeah. Any sixes are a mortal wound. Cool, cool, cool. Nope. Uh, all hit. Two auto wounds. That one does not wound. So two saves, no EP. Two saves on twos. Made him. Sweet. Nice. Um, let's charge. Uthar in here. All right. Come out, bro. I make it a six. Yeah. Oh, there we yeah. are. King. So we can just get Absolute Chad. Oh, pardon me. We can then. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to do that, but that's all good. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's our only charge. I don't know if Uthar would actually. Well, he was a 2 plus save, right? So he'd probably be fine. Oh, he's a 3 plus uh, save. Oh, he's a 3 plus save. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're, a lot of people they're think he's a 2 plus. They're 2 plus poisons. So I might not want to touch that. Yeah. Uh, they, they so, pop the Swarm Lord. Mm -hmm. um, so, on twos, any uh, any sixes here or three mortals? Okay. We don't roll any sixes. Oh, yeah, There's a go. six. Um, so, actually, I could fight on death. I think. Uh, let me think about that. Do I top bracket myself? I think I do. Um, stratagems by phase. Do, 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 do. That is. Death Frenzy. Um. Mm -hmm. Consider it to have my full runes remaining. Uh, I will. And I believe also I can do... Um, yeah, so I'll spend all three. I'll fight on death with Swarmlord. And then uh, because you destroyed a Hive Tyrant, I'm going to uh, instinctive rage these guys. So they get plus one to hit and wound and plus four on charges for the rest of the game. They're just so angry. They're just so mad at you. They're like, how yeah, dare you? Is. How could you? Uh, all right. Swarmlord's going to swing. He hits on twos. He wins on twos. 
Oh, well, house. Right, I assume. Uh, yours is five. Top is five. Yeah, it went on twos. Bloop. Uh, that many saves. Seven saves. Mr. Uthar on your so, end. Okay, seven four ups. Okay, drop four. Take yeah. four. Yep. There you go. I love that. Get you closer to cranial feasting that guy next turn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's All pro right. cranium. Uh, okay, that so, is a, that is a uh, high value cranium right there. Very much so. Uh, do you owe me morale? No, they're within. No, they're. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I okay. do. Yeah, I do not get this because the obsec falls off at the beginning of the command phase, I believe, and I don't. I can't yeah. put it back on. So, um, all right. Uh, yeah, because I have four on there. Yeah. Uh, Tier three. Uh, yeah. So I can do plus one to head and rerolls here. Um, and yeah, that's what we'll do. And then we'll have. Well, we'll actually put siphon on the hive turn, I think. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, so I'll give you a. A nice little hold too. Yeah, double I banners. Think that, uh, I think that triple ones I had earlier. Oh no, it would have still fell. I was plus three to cast that turn. <laughs> oh my. Uh, all right. So these guys will come hang out. Um, I do want to kill Uthar with the venom throws. Why is it going to be like that? So that's just how we roll. Uh, all right, this hive tyrant moves in ten, so he can go four and a half, six, ten. I really want to see your pioneer. Oh, I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you this time. Um, Carney Fexers. Uh, I guess he can go up to where the other dude was. This guy's stuck shooting at like I can tell my fortresses I can't damage. Um there's no way to see these guys over here, I assume. Yeah. Uh so this guy may just advance. Do I where do I put these on? I think I put these on the on the venom throws actually, because they're much more valuable attacking him. Okay. Um, they get a big, they get a big bonus the cranial feast if they kill him. Uh, because they're cool. All right, this Carnifex will go. Let's see, this guy will roll in advance. Okay, let's go. This guy will go eight over to here. And we'll just like shoot at a Earthkin. All right, uh, I don't randomly see these guys through here right now. You, you put them, you played positioned too well for me, sir. Oh, it's uh, funny because I clicked and dragged them and that's where they landed. <laughs> <laughs> All <laughs> right, clever cookie. Psychic phase, uh, yes, we'll do this guy. He'll do, we don't need onslaught this turn. He'll do catalyst, nailed it. On... With Iron Guard, sure. Um, and then he'll do um is my other one. Paroxysm. That doesn't really matter. I would smite Uthar and he would die, and that would be sad. Oh, I can't even smite, I can't see him. So I guess we'll cast Paroxysm. Goes off. Uh I'll just put Real. it on. Real quick one, by the way. I'm gonna mark us for it just now, but both of us have held our priority token objective oh, markers yeah, over yeah, the yeah, first three. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Whichever one it is, we have it. <laughs> exactly, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I will paroxysm. It doesn't really matter. I guess these guys. I guess Uthar, in case I don't kill him. Um, all right. That's it for that. He's going to interrogate Uthar, so give him a token. Here Uthar doesn't know a damn thing. Where are the other drugs going? Oh, Goes damn it. Off. He's so uh, knowledgeable. I can see CP, too. It's actually, not, that's oh. actually bad for me. Um, all right. Uh, oh, that's my second psychic interrogation. Cool. And then we are charging. Shooting. What is your shooting? Uh, this guy's going to shoot here. One, two, three. Blam. Blam. One wound. AP3. One wound. AP3. Five up. Yay. Ah, uh, no. One uh, dead? Yeah, four damage. This guy's going to shoot here. Uh, blam. 
blam. Uh, two AP3 on the Hearthkin. Oh, okay, uh, so we'll uh, med get the first be... Yeah. So med get the first one, and then AP3, right? So yeah. reduce by one. Is med kit the one. first failed save? Oh, first failed save, so yeah. Good you point. just roll both, and the first one goes away. Uh, so you're actually fine. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, how about Cause, roll both? Yeah, because they're in cover, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, this guy is going to shoot the Pioneer on threes. And on threes. One AP three. Six up, I guess. Six up, yeah. Where are we? Show me a uh, five. Yay. Oh, how much damage? Four. Four damage. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, all right. That is... Oh, I don't think I moved these guys. I'm just going to put them in the auto charge. Yeah, man. On Sounds Deedman. good. Dudeman over here. Yeah. Uh, cool. Let's do charges. Um, the Tyrant Guard are going to charge these friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should have cast the Behemoth Power. What am I doing? Yeah, it doesn't really matter, actually. Like, everything was on twos. Uh, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to overwatch them. Okay. Just in case, because I think it's, what, three each, 30 shots, or two each? 20 shots. Yeah, 20 shots on sixes with reroll ones where we thought. Yeah, could be worse. Nice. Okay, five five AP ones, please. Uh, okay, are they going to recover? Uh, yeah, yes, there's a, no, yeah, yeah sorry, there is a scanner, because I wanted cool. to take them for aspect scan purposes. Uh, I take three. <laughs> Ow. Ow. All right, one okay. job, boys. That's, one job. It's probably it's probably worth. All right, uh, just come over here and hang out. Hello. That's good. Uh, all right, the tyrant will charge them too. Yep. The uh, venom ropes will charge Uthar. Yes, yeah, sir. Yep. Go over here. Uh, the tyrant guard will charge Uthar just, just to make sure. Go seven inches. <laughs> um, do this. We just want to be able to get back to my objective at the end here with a a nice overrun. Uh, yeah. Oh, we have to be five away because we get two. We get the minus two. This will be something like that. All right. Um, cool. Uh, on a three plus, they ping you for a mortal. They do one mortal wound, and you fight last. So the okay. doesn't probably didn't do anything. And then I'll just swing at the Parthkin warriors oh. with the tyrant guard over here. That's good. Uh, they have four and four with their big claws on threes and on twos. Uh, four AP four. So it just murders yeah, four dudes. Four, four du uh, three dudes. We still have a med pipe. Is that uh, every phase or every turn? Uh, well, we've not used it yet, right? Uh, oh, yeah, that's true, because they just made all their saves. Yeah. Them count. Yep. yeah. So and then the two. little things, the little claws. Uh, just one, EP uh, one. So just okay. get the four plus. Yep. Nope. Cool. Um, and then they will go and tag the land fortress. Um, and then the hive tyrant. Uh, I have two CP. I'll pay one to um, get extra attacks. Two extra. So we get eight. Uh, yep. And then this is on twos. Rerolling ones. Oh, sad. And then on twos. Uh, seven AP4. Seven yeah. AP4s. Uh, I guess I'll slow roll it on the theme just in oh, case. Oh, yeah. He's in one. Okay, so he's dead, and then I'm I leave, and then four more die. Cool. Where's my thing? I thought that would be on the objective. That useless rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I think then fortunately yeah, means you still hold it, which is too bad. Oh well. Um, I will just roll the tyrant guard on you because killing you with the venom throws doesn't matter anymore because I got a CP yep. this turn. So three guys will get to swing, and these guys will just go this way. Uh, so they have. They'll have nine with the claws. Is this an Uther, sorry? Yeah, the Tyrant Guard. I'll just I'll just grab him, man. Okay, sure. Yeah. 
Um, and then I'll just do a little consolidate. Do, 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 do like this way, kind of towards the, the land fortress. Um, these guys will pile in and consolidate. Yeah. Just base you. Um, and then I will let you fight me. Sounds good. So two, four, six attacks. Uh, let's try and pop a tyrant guard because that could be funny. No, yeah, that would be funny. Uh, well, it could continue to be funny uh, on a five or a six. Actually, of these two as well. Um, GTL reroll that. Nope. Okay. So four saves. Uh, AP nothing. Okay. He's dead. It do be like that. Satch. Uh, uh, all right, and then uh, end of the phase, we'll move these. Oh, you get to hit me with the Titan Lion Fortress too. two. Nope. And then the other one. Uh, one hit. That'll do. Uh, I'll, just, I'll GTL reroll this just in case. Nope. Sure. So one auto wound into the Tyrant Guard. Do you buzz? <laughs> Tyrant Guard, stop. Jesus. <laughs> Tyrant Guard, come on, boys. Eh? Figure it out. Jeez. Uh, all right. And then these guys are going to overrun for my yep. last CP and they're going to go back to my objective. Blurp. Mm -hmm. Don't touch the terrain. Um, we'll just do. Yeah, I'll just be out in the open like an idiot. All right. Uh, that's the end of my turn. Just m uh, morale on the hearth can, I guess. Yeah, so away. anything but a one. Nice. Okay, lose one, and then... Uh, ones, and ones and twos. Yes! Oh, Lord. Yes! Oh, sad boy. We've Ours. done it! It happened. <laughs> oh, uh, no. All right, so I got... Um, I got... Seven for cranial feasting that turn, uh, and then that's it for that. So we will pass to you. Sounds good. So I'll get hold one. Yep, and I'll grab priority. I think the end of the turn, actually. Um, here can't fail, right? Their leadership, yeah, they're not terrible. Yeah, leadership. we should be. That'd be weird if they were like dramatically less than the pioneers. Yeah, it just, yeah, it wouldn't make a lot of sense. Um, I think it's tyrant. Your tyrant's not character protected, right? Uh, he is currently, because he's next to the tyrant guard. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Well, let's just... You, you just know. gotta blow that guy up with the... With yeah, the exactly. And blow, try and blow that guy away, and then... Yep. Try for that. Get my movement. Let's get around here. I guess we'll just start advancing towards some other stuff. Uh, well, that was that was quick. Uh, um, buff this one's ballistic skill, so everything into the tyrant guard. From this land fortress. Mm -hmm. So big gun on a four. Hits. Uh, auto wounds actually because you have tokens on that guy as well. So AP four, 2d3 plus six damage, no invuln. Um, so, on, on the Benethorps or the? Oh, on the, the, the Tyrant card, excuse me. Uh, so I could roll a six here. No, so he's just dead. Uh, oh, sorry, he was on one. I would have bumped, yeah, I would have bumped him up. Yeah, I mean, he's dead anyway. Yeah, cool. Sounds good. Um, and then that's the rest of the shots are gone on that. That's fine. Yay. Um, then the two Thunderkin into the Hive Tower. Yep. Uh, 2d6 shots. Off, which was not smart of me. Uh, 2d6 shots. Let's well. see. Um, the Tower Guard getting mad at these are. Really when, matters uh, that we hit these. I'll pop the CP for the rerolls. So they lose their bonuses, but at least they... I regret my decision almost buff. immediately. Uh, so on fives and sixes, re-rolling these. Hey! Hey! There it is. AP3. Uh, I have 12. Yeah, so we'll roll three on four ups. Boop. So three, or take six. Take six. Take nine. Am I dead? I'll re-roll that. Yeah, that's Please valid. Die. Yay, there we go. Life. Good man. Just barely. Just barely. Uh, okay, we... Hmm. I guess I'll put all the small guns into the Venoms, and then I'll declare the big gun into the Hive Tyrant, just yep. in case. Yep. You never know. Uh, so, Venoms don't have a token, though. 
they should have one because they did the banner on turn one. I think maybe. Oh, it's over there. Yeah, theirs. that's the one following yeah. them around. Sounds good. Uh, so this will be. We'll do the first six. So these are on uh, fours and threes. Mm hmm. Uh, okay, so that's just three autos. Uh, yeah, so I save on sixes. Oh, Flat so to one each. One guy start, and then one guy takes two. And then 12 shots, this will be fours again, right? Minus one? Uh, minus two, but yeah. It doesn't, I don't oh, think that matters. Uh, and then on threes for yep. these guys. Oh, little spike there. There we go. Uh, so that many saves on yep. sixes. Sixes. Ugh. Yeah, this uh, this ignore cover thing's killing me. <laughs> this yeah. has to be on fours otherwise. And then uh, right when the big gun in the hand. Yep. So back to our normal ballistic skill. Mm hmm. So on a three, uh, it hits, does an auto wound, and then uh, on strength 14, so twos, uh, I'm guessing. Three. Yeah, you got him. That's a six. Okay. Yeah. AP4, no involved. Yep. So that's another, uh, another three for a four. Yep. Uh, and yeah, I don't know though that uh, that hold one is a bit of a killer. Um, okay, uh, yeah, that's going to be me, dude. Uh, not a whole lot uh, yes. more expansive than that. It's very much, it's very much become a one-dimensional game. Yeah. Uh, over to you, dude. Cool. So I get twelve. Uh, hold one. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, hopefully that's good enough. Because I'm running out of units. Yeah. Um, I can't give any... I can give them plus one to hit, I guess. Do I care about that? I could also just like, run away. Um, mm -mm -mm. Let's see. I want to... Yeah, you can just put this guy over here, so it doesn't matter. Um... And each I'm going to outplay these guys because they're right? part of me. The, and they each count as uh, two guys right over here. The hex count is five. Oh, that's spicy. Um, all right. Yeah, I guess we just have to not die, basically. So we'll just pick it plus one to the Carnifex. Objective um, survive. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh and then yeah hope for the best uh i don't have any good avenues on an interrogation we could run this guy out and then he would just get killed so i could go get interrogation but then you would get three for a poor anyway so it doesn't matter mm -hmm. it would be a wash um okay so these guys are going to just run over here okay um just go being inside the cover doesn't really matter so we're just gonna be we'll be well i uh, will advance them as well be in advance Boop. nice lovely everybody in dense moving 10 okay uh this guy wants to stay in synaptic link of them this guy is gonna pull back out of the terrain but then look at the thunderkin um, this guy will also go look at the Thunderkin, I think, but I'll be behind the terrain. So we just want to be so that this guy doesn't peek me, basically. Makes sense. Um, and then we'll have a Carnifex be in front of the where the Neurothrope can go. Cool. Guess you could be here. So the Neurothrope will just be, like, back here. Mm -hmm. Cool. And the Carnifex is over there. All right. Uh, we'll cast... Catalyst with this guy goes off. Uh, none of my other spells matter. I don't have Psychic Scream anymore. So yeah, just put Catalyst on the big unit, unit of Tyrant Guard. There it is. Yeah, man. Here you go. Um, and then we'll shoot the Carnifex with plus one over here. Blam. One, or I don't know why I'm rolling number of shots. It just shoots three times. That one. Oh, that one hits because I'm plus one. Nice. Yes, sir. And I'm not three hits. Threes. Just one wound. Moment. AP, three. Five. Oh, we're fine. All right, the other guy. Fine. I imagine we're less fine. Oh, there you go. Okay, we're fine. Turn it shooting at its best. Uh, that's my turn. Yeah, it's mighty finest. 
Okay. <laughs> well, that was, uh, yeah, fair enough. Well, yeah, um, that's uh, super unfortunate. Yeah. You, are you just, what, are you just determined to get me on this flight by hook or by crook? Okay, let's do this I mean, thing. basically. Uh, I imagine me, like, sprinting towards the gate, like, you don't understand, man, there was <laughs> Warhammer to play. Uh, <laughs> okay, man, uh, let's, uh, let's fire a, a fun little token on one of those faxes, I guess, at yep. the end of your turn. Uh, the middle guy, because why if not? If only we had an extra gun, it would have been dead already. <laughs> okay. The problem is that we get... We get... Hmm. Basically, oh, for the cost of, like, one, one upgraded Exocran, we get, like, 1.5 yeah, Carnifexes, and the Carnifexes okay. get rerolls from the Hive Tyrants, and the so, Exocrans don't. Realistically, Exocrans need a core then keyword, we, and then they would be worth well, the, the expense. Here, so, like, they are they have here, slightly yeah. fewer shots. Well, I don't need to go actually on it, so that's fine. Um, I'm going to give plus one ballistic skill to the blue heck. Um... Like they're they're um, two Carnifexes versus on one Exocrine. They're they're like uh, uh, equivalent damage is similar because so they're higher strength two. and higher damage, but lower shot volume, which is probably fine. Yeah. Um, and like having two models at eighteen uh, wounds with minus one damage and stuff is much better. Yeah. So has advanced. You can't advance and shoot or any of that drivel. But there you go. Nice. And then uh, he's accelerating yeah. so fast. He's so fast. He's the speediest boy who ever lived. Uh, this guy's gonna go to here. Mm-hmm. Uh, can I pop your noodle? I don't think so. Uh, no, because the Carnifex is going to be yeah, yeah, exactly. also so, these guys, like everyone's concerned. If you kill both Carnifexes before he goes to shoot, then you're good, but I, I think that's tough. I was going to say, yeah. And, uh, Just like one Flunder Kennedy each, like all six shots. Play him, play him. They're down, boys. We got him. Uh, okay, uh, let's, uh, I guess let's just try and, uh, try and pop the, actually, the Fexes aren't really going to matter for the, for what you call it. I guess I just probably need to pop as many uh, Tyrant Guard as possible, to be honest. Right? Like, try and land some, um, some more No Prisoners out of this. Yeah. On that, actually. So, yeah, in fact, I'm going to move the uh, the Thunderkin over here, just to be touching this wall. Mm-hmm. Same on these guys. Is there uh, tokens on these Tyrant Guard? Uh, there should be one for killing Uthar. Yeah. Perfect. There you go. Okay. So yeah, I'll throw uh, all my all the broke here into them. Um. Well, can you can you see me? Uh. There's a big wall here. Oh, I thought I was sorry. I'm touching owl. Right, right. But it, you still have to have, to have tree line of sight. Is oh, as in this, this one doesn't have any right. windows. There's no windows. I'm with you, man. So well, you wanna, I think you far. could probably if they go this way. I guess, but you want to be on the objective though. Yeah, you could so... you could probably do this right where like one guy's here and then like cuts this line of sight maybe and then the other guys like there. Nah, they, they, honestly, they don't have the movement to do that. They're oh, such okay. slow boys. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I could think is if I can just no, I'll just try and hold this thing for for hooker by crook then in that yep. case. Yep. Uh, and that makes it way easier because then I'll just go a heck into here and I'll give them full rerolls. Yep. That's easy. Love so, it. So uh, yeah, so this will be on twos, hitting on twos anyway. So, uh, start with a small gun. So this will be on twos, auto wounding on fives with full rerolls. Let's just fish for the auto wounds, I guess. Okay, and then this will be strength six, T6, so wounding on fours. Okay, uh, four saves AP2. Okay, uh, If ever there was a time. Uh, well, snap. Let's take one. Okay, and then the small guns. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. And then these will be on threes. Okay. Uh, nine AP twos. Uh, fours. And these are two each. So, um, the wounded guy takes the first two. Takes two. Is dead, and then uh, we gotta get to row four on the next guy, and he takes two. So he's dead. Next guy takes two. That's good. And then uh, let's try and bot uh, the big gun. Mm -hmm. So what we need here is a two or a three. Anything else is unacceptable. Boom. That's unacceptable. Oh no, four. That works because you, you only have one token, right? Yes. So on a six is what we're after. Nope. Well, Sedge. GTL reroll that. Sedge. Nope. So, uh, AP, AP4. On, yeah, on a six, and then that one dude just like fucking dies. Yeah, he just gets vaporized. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, uh, so yeah, that's me. Uh, no, no more scoring on that front. Um, so back to you, man. 
Okay. Uh, so I'll just pay two so that uh, they auto pass because I don't want to just randomly lose that objective. Um, and then what's the how do you, you score these by holding them? Holding them at the end of the game, yeah. So like I can contest them. You can contest them, but my hex count as five, and these guys will count as uh, four. Oh yeah, that's true. So I, I don't think I can stop them, but I can kill these guys. Um, yeah, I guess I could try him. to. I'll just give plus one to hit to a Carnifex, and then he'll try to kill you. Yeah, man, go for it. Uh, we might as well go with two Carnifexes because we don't need to do anything else. That's significantly more than one. And then these guys will come hang out. Uh, go five inches, but they'll just like do this. Sure. And be outside the terrain. Probably like this. Here and see. All right. Um, this neurothrope's chilling. The neurothrope is going to. Yeah, I, I assume that we're gonna be in a place where we can't get interrogation on you. So he's just gonna cast um, plus one to wound. Nailed it. We'll do that on the Carnifex that has plus one to hit, and okay. then we'll do a smite. Uh, it goes off. Is there plus two to cast for one mortal wound? Okay. Uh, and then we'll do shooting, and the plus one to hit Carnifex will shoot you. One uh, hits every time because of plus one. Hits every time, yeah. Good stuff. No wounds. Oh no, one wound. Sorry, one wound. Strength. One wound. Yeah, plus one. Strength. Uh, okay. Uh, AP. Three. AP four, right? AP three. Three. Uh, four up. Yeah. Yeah. How much so damage? Four damage. Yes, sir. And the other guy, uh, one hit. One wound. Okay. Get in the box or not at all. Ooh, yeah, we're fine. Uh, okay, charging. These Tyrant Guard will charge the Thunderkin. Sounds like I might overwatch them. All right, go for it. Let me take 2d6, all wounding on sixes. Because then if I, if for some medical reason I drop them, that'll drop your holds more? Uh, Potentially, unless I kill you at this land fortress. And then I will just. I mean, I'd rather. Away. I mean, how about how about you don't? Yeah, yeah, screw it. Why not? Fair enough. We'll watch two dice. Seven. Seven shots. Solid. No sixes. One, One six. Aha. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> AP three. Uh, yep. Yeah, just on that guy in cover. Yeah. Uh, go. He's fine. Sounds good. They all zero plus save. Let's go. <laughs> all right. Uh, there you go. Eight. Yeah, that is nice. One more. One, two, three. Um, and then we're just going to charge you with the Carnifex. Yeah. I guess like one will go over here and one will go over here. Yeah, man. Um, good. All right. The... I'll, uh, I'll pick these chaps up. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then they'll just come hang on over here. The Carnifex with plus, all the plus ones. Uh, there's seven on the charge, I believe. They are four base plus two for weapons. Yeah, plus one for charging. So hits on twos. Oh, no. on fours because we're strength seven only two ap3 ap3 AP AP two four ups uh, no three damage each okay that and five. Then the other guy needs to just like roll like a fucking god um threes and fives no he didn't so i'll just chill and then we'll just overrun these guys on this objective yeah man. nice Okay, so, so you grab get a twelve. Two lay claims. Uh, yes. Yeah, it should be fifteen on both. Yeah, so I got two lay claims for ten. And then how are we looking uh, on no got, prisoners? I got banner. I should have ten banners at the end. Yeah. Uh, and then no prisoners. You have killed. These guys are all worth four. Uh, and then these guys aren't worth jack. So you get um. What is that? 16 apiece, so 64, 74. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, 79. Um, so you get eight, I guess? Eight on the prisoners, sweet yeah. ass. Uh, yeah, 79, 76. That, uh, yeah, the two whole moors just, uh, just bing, killed it. Boom. Yeah, for sure. Could I have touched? Nah, I was trying to think, could I have touched this wall and this, but I don't think so. Um, yeah, I think my primary max is, I assume, right? Yeah, the, the extra hold more doesn't even matter. Yeah. Because of, yeah, of the uh, the tertiary score so high. 
Yeah, man. Cool. Well, GG, dude. Good game, brother. Yeah. Cheers. Um, go catch your flight. I'll do my best. Yeah, have exactly. A good time. Uh, I mean, if you've cursed me now and it, uh, it crashes, you'll just be remembered as the the guy who played me before. You know, I inevitably stuffed go. it. So. Yeah, exactly. So as long <laughs> as you don't curse me, it's sweet. <laughs> yeah, just don't make sure you don't waste all your good luck on these uh, game TTS games for 40k. Well, so. no, I think it's safe to say that uh, that has not happened. But then again, <laughs> you know, some hive guard ones or tyrant guard ones are always appreciated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Those hive guard did like taking damage from AP zero attacks. They love, that was their favorite God. thing. <laughs> God love them. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay, dude. Thanks cool. for the game. GG. Have a Peace. good one. Bye now. All right, chat. We did it. I didn't do a prediction. I forgot. Um, interesting list. I think I would be interested to play this one into a matchup that doesn't ignore cover because I do think that it actually kind of tra trashes it. Um, So we were talking about the Broodlord. The Broodlord Impaired is interesting because it gives the Tyrant Guard light cover but doesn't camouflage them. But it does mean that all the Tyrant Guard go to a one-up save at least. And then I believe they go they get a they get a one-up in melee as well, if they're already on the terrain, I think is how that one works. Uh imperatives. Uh if they're already receiving the benefits of light cover, it's treated as also having the benefits of heavy. Does that work? Does that do anything? Hold up. Wait a minute. What does that do? Wait, I think that's... I don't think that does anything. Oh, no. They, they receive... It's this, this fucking clause right here. This is like... This is why... GW has so many fucking rules problems because they this is a paragraph of text for an ability that this should not take a paragraph of text to explain um and it's because they added all this additional verbal like verbal garbage that it creates these loopholes that they shouldn't have um first of all synaptic comparatives should be should just like this rule should not be on every synaptic comparative ability this should just be a thing that says like when your synaptic comparative is active it, you know it's a six inch aura from all your synapse creatures and they get the following ability uh, then you don't have to rewrite this every time. So you save like two sentences of text on every single uh, ability. Um, each time an attack targets that unit, that unit is treated having the benefits of light cover. If the unit was already receiving the benefits of light cover, it is treated as also having the benefits of heavy. But why does it say against that attack? Because you don't get light cover against fucking melee attacks. So it doesn't do anything. But I think that if you're receiving... I don't think the attack type actually matters for cover. I think you're receiving the benefits regard whether or not you the attack actually cares about them. It's just very poorly worded. Um, 40k rules writers paid by the word. I mean, honestly, so I, I someone told me, and take this with a huge like scooping, uh, like a like a just a gallon bucket full of like rock salt. Uh, they said that they were in interviews for the design team. Uh, because they had applied for a position. And I, honestly, I'm not entirely sure that... I don't know. I don't know if that, like how truthful that story is. But they said that um, the design team... They, during the interview process, uh, it was mentioned that the part of the task of the design team was to include as many rules in a codex as possible to increase its value proposition for people buy purchasing codexes like as a rules reference guide um that sounds like tinfoil hattie to me and i and the the person that was told told me this was like i don't know i don't know if they were a particularly trustworthy source but um that was what they told me so like paid by the word basically because they're they're incentivized to make the codexes the rule section of the codex longer basically um so it gives you yeah so it gives you heavy cover if you're already in light i think it just like it it doesn't actually interface with the abilities that you have but it does interact with the style of ability if that makes sense um like it it compounds your play style basically
I don't know if I like this second Hive Tyrant chat. I think I do. I think I do, but only because it gives you an extra body for the, the plus one attack aura. But I don't like that he cost me like three fucking CP. Oh, I forgot my adaptive biology. Oh, I shouldn't have died to that land fortress shot. Ugh. All right. Well, I probably like him a lot better. I just didn't roll out his damage ignore. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oopsies. All right. Fair enough. That was a big mistake on my part. And I think I also, I clipped myself a shot on the hearth guard that probably would have killed that hearth guard guy and got me extra points on cranial feasting um, uh, with the hive tyrant. I didn't, I didn't look at the line of sight here. And I think the hive tyrant could have just cut this way been character protected by the tyrant car back here and then shot the guys over there and i just didn't do that because i was like trying to push as far forward as i could um so i definitely my opponent said he had like a very limited amount of time to play so i was like, rushing a little bit so i didn't play perfectly i think i also like i had swarm lord like 0.1 inch out of the i should have had swarm lord character protected by both tyrant guard units when he was in the middle he should have been within six of the zone throat with the venom throats which he could have been if i piled in like slightly uh there were like a couple a couple misplays Um, and yeah, so, so I'm interested about this Broodlord thing. I think that the heavy cover benefits actually like really sweet. I'm, I'm, I'm in some way kind of interested in like, because this is such a melee focus list, like a tanky melee focus list. I'm interested in how it like profile matches with like world leaders. Uh, being in heavy cover against orcs kind of fucks them, because that entire codex is like AP 1 and 2, except for the power claw guys. 8 bound, I guess they're all AP 3, so being a 1 plus save doesn't do that much. It goes for, you go from a 4 to a 5, which is good. But that also means that I might play that on US Open layouts, because you get light cover basically permanently. The layouts, um, the ones on the other style, the fuck ever that's called, uh, like WTC, it's harder to, but you can't wall screen and be in light cover, but in that one you can. I don't know what I cut for it. Maybe you drop the gene stealers and just like say fuck it. I, they're, they're kind of in there to protect against dev drops because dev drops, I think, just like fuck this list really, really hard because you don't have enough shooting to respond to them and they like, kill a tyrant guard really easily with multi meltas. But I think you need two, two gene steal units anyway. So you could. I had two gene steal units instead of the termagants, which is probably better, but I, I needed to drop an upgrade somewhere and I don't know what to drop. I think I need to drop the adrenal glands on the hive, the swarm, the hive tyrant. But that makes it so you can't adrenaline surge it. And the Maw Claws adrenaline surge is, like, really valuable. So, I don't know. I might play a couple more games of this before I decide. All right, chats. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop off. We'll do some raiding. Um, Tactical Tuesday tomorrow. That's exciting. Otherwise, uh, I think there's going to be some pod finals going down. Um, and it'll be good. On Hell Heraldes is live. We'll give him a raid. I'm a, I'm a fan of his. He has some... Uh, I need to get in touch with him. He has some models for Breach Storm that I, I hired him to paint ages ago. And he sent me photography for them, which was like basically all I wanted. But I should have the models with me too. Uh, but I have totally forgotten about that. All right. We'll do a raid. Thanks everyone for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow.